All right, people. Now this is Ja Servan, and today we have a special guest on the phone. And uh, you're about to find out who this person is. And this person has got a very important message concerning the ones who are known on YouTube as Soldiers of the Cross, John and Sharon. You got that right. It's been a long time ago that we spoke about them. Now this person has contacted me and shared with me on June the 2nd a message in which she made known unto me that she has a burden to bring out the truth about these two particular individuals. Now, all right, Toby, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right, what a blessing to have you on the phone. Now, Toby, I would like to have you, I, I would have you know that this ministry, you know, our ministry has been forced to come on YouTube, uh, basically to defend ourselves against the likes of John and Sharon for several reasons. But um, at this time, it is not our story or our experiences with John and Shan that matters, but it is your story that matters. So I'm going to let you talk. And uh, Toby, can you tell us a bit about yourself and the reason why you contacted us? Okay, um, I'm Toby. My name is Toby. And I am Sharon's oldest daughter. I lived with her for almost 18 years in the same house, and um, I know that the people that her and John was represent themselves to be online and through the Soldiers of the Cross, they're not actually an accurate representation of who John and Sharon really and truly are. They are lying about um, who they are and um, what they represent. Um. So John, John and Sharon come on here, but basically what you're saying is they are not who they claim to be. Is that right? Yes, they are not who they claim to be. All right. I mean, they're, I can say that you know their names are John and Sharon, but the people, the face that they show everyone is not the face. It's the people that know them, the people that are related to them, the people that have lived with them now. Okay. Can, can you tell us a little bit about John and Sharon? Well, I'll start with Sharon because I live with her and I've obviously known her the longest. Sharon, um, I, 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 want, I want to say the reason why I'm doing this, first of all, so everyone will know, all right. is that I believe that the both of them use the Bible and they twist the Bible to help them hide from the lives that they left behind here where we all live, quite honestly. And Sharon... Um, you know, I've seen a lot of what they've said on the internet, and she's saying a lot of stuff about love and and God and faith. But the fact is, she is um, she is a woman who spent my entire life abusing me and my sister and my brother horrifically, both physically and mentally. Wow. Um, she also spent um, a lot of time having various multiple sexual relationships with uh, just about anybody that she could find. All right, can you repeat uh, that again? You say sexual relationships. Yes, multiple sexual relationships. Well, she was married with my father. She was, um, she, she had multiple sexual relationships with boys my age, whenever I was a teenager, boys that I dated. Wow. Um, friends of ours, friends of my sister, and, uh, you know, she made no bones about it. And so that's what, <laughs> it's what we're asking now to see her talking about love and God, especially when she's talking about children, considering what she's done to me and my siblings, it is astounding that she can sit there self-consciously and say what she said. All right, so basically what you're saying here um, is that the things she has done in the past, she is not ashamed of those things, right? No, she's not. She doesn't even... We, we asked her at one point because it's, it's my belief. When she found God, um, she... When I tried to talk to her about these things, especially when it became a very huge problem in my life and I had to embrace a lot of it and I had to start dealing with it, I came to her and I asked her um, to tell me why, to talk to me about it, to help me through this. I mean, she was my mother and you know, she was there for these events. I needed some kind of closure for them. And I remember asking her about this and her reply to me was, God forgave me so it really didn't matter how I felt. God forgave her. So it really didn't matter what my feelings were. So, she's, so she, she just disregarded them. All right. So she said God forgave her, so it doesn't matter how you feel about this. Right. It doesn't matter how you have been wounded. It doesn't matter the scars that are uh, that are left on you emotionally and spiritually and physically. Right. 
Okay, so what you have said basically is that Sharon uses the word of God for her for her own purposes in a twist right. in a twisted manner and she has basically not repented of this. She she has not repented and and really, you know, um repented before the Lord and repented before you about this uh this uh, and, it's, and it's not just me, it's the same way with I have two siblings and we're we're the only children she has, there's only three of us and it's it's the same way for all three and there's more damage done to some than others and the way that we have to handle it, but I will tell you the damage done to our family as a result of this woman has is profound. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about the damage that was done to your family because of this? And the person, my personal life, well, first of all, I have, a, um, and I know a lot of people, some people don't accept this, but I have a lot, I have a very hard time, you want to, and we talk about spirituality and religion, I have a hard time embracing religion as a result of what she has personally done to me and used God as her shield to justify. She, um, the man, <laughs> the man that everybody knows, uh, John, that she married, um, she basically abandoned all of us and they, they run off from state to state and, and hide. And it's because this man um, confessed to her and she told all of us that he touched his own daughter sexual, trying to elicit a sexual response. And, you know, any person, especially a parent, would not want somebody like that around their children. And so that's, that's what the, the, most of the damage that I deal with now, the most recent thing is the fact that she abandoned all of us to go and live with a pedophile. All right, so what you're basically saying here is John has sexually abused his own daughter. Is that right? Yes, and that is something that Sharon told, told us. That is something that Sharon, um, she said they were confessing to each other their the past or whatever, and one of the things that John confessed was that he had done this to his own child. And and that's just another, they use the scripture and they use the ball to hide behind these things because they don't want to have to deal with the mess they left in their real lives here. All right, so, um, okay, okay. To, to make this very clear for the people right now, uh, Sharon is your biological mother, is that right? That's right. Okay, okay. All right. She she abandoned all of you for this particular man who is Yeah, and we were I was I will tell you I was grown when she basically abandoned me, but I'm the oldest children. They were not quite as grown as I was. They were still in their teenage years whenever she ran off. So right now, uh John and Sharon, do you have any idea, you know, um they, they are traveling at this time, as as I understand. Yeah, they live. They live a lot. Um, they live a lot. So yeah, they move around a lot. They're gone. <laughs> they go from state to state, and I don't know. I don't. I don't know exactly where they're at from time to time. I know that they're not here where we live, but at any minute that could change. And I really think that. A lot of the reason why they move, it concerns me because I see some of the things on the internet and I know they reach out to these people and people believe them and I've seen they've posted videos where some of the, there's people that have gone to visit them and it concerns me. I can't sit and in good conscience knowing what I know and, and the possibility that John is a danger to small children, which I believe that he is. He's a danger to children. Wow. People bringing their uh, bringing their kids around this man, it it just I can't in good conscience with my wife knowing that if I know this and this kind of behavior is a possibility out of him and say nothing because then then am I not party to that sin? Do I do I not am I not just being too complacent and sitting there and maybe some other child is injured by one of them later and it's because nobody knew that they had this kind of behavior in them. Wow. I, I don't think I can live with myself, to be honest. Sharon is your biological mom. She ran off with with this John, who is a pedophile. You're 100% sure of that because your bio mom actually told you that he told her that he had touched his own daughter. Uh -huh. Okay, they used the word of God for their own purposes at this time.